for that. Hello everybody, how are we doing? Right, I can talk a normal, a normal, um, not temperature, a normal volume, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I can talk at a normal volume today because it's the middle of the day, hurrah! Hi Vicky, she's always in there, first one to buy papers, always Vicky, thank you Vicky, my loyal, um, faithful YouTube subscriber and customer, so thank you for that Vicky, I really do appreciate that. Hi Sally Jo, hi Laurie, uh, hi Gina, hi everybody, oh me things have disappeared now, me little chat, I don't know, let's come back, come back, oh gosh, I'm just messing around now. Right, let's just find my chat again. Let's try and find it. Where's it gone? Oh, goodness. Live chat. Oh, right. Bear with. Bear with while I try and find why this has disappeared. Oh, I can't see anybody's chat. Just bear with. Just press something. And now... Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. Right. Where are we? Uh, hi Gina, no grandkids today, that's good Hi Jill, perfect time of the day for you as well Yeah, it's for me Vicky as well to be fair Hi Paper Scissors Crop Scrapbooking, fantastic Good, again, hello, welcome for the first time Um, Hi Yvonne, don't worry, you're not a bit late We're literally just gathering ourselves together We never sort of start bang on Because, you know, wait, waiting for everyone to join And waiting for me to get my brain together And I need to sort out my quality on my thingy tablet that's the word i'm looking for there we go right hi june hi everybody oh my goodness lots of us that's good that's good that's good um cool hi nola yes you're here nola fantastic and you're here live as well which is always good hi chris um how are we all how is everybody what's everyone's weather doing our weather is horrendous so when I say horrendous, it's not, it's just not very, not very summery. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit grey and a bit wet and a bit meh. It's not raining at the moment, but it has been. So yeah. So how is everybody? It does look like all the Aussies are getting on board. I've got a lot of Aussies, it has to be said, and it's great. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hi, Mickey from Nebraska. Fantastic. Hi, Diane, you're back. Fantastic. Good to have you. Um, yeah, I'm having a bit of problem with digital papers at the moment, just to let you all, a little heads up for you all, um, because my printer, I'm having print problems. My printer, the replacement that I had for the original one, where the paper got wrapped around the roller, well, it's happened to the replacement one as well. So the replacement printer also has now has paper wrapped around the roller. Yippee! So I can't print anything out. So um, that was a sarcastic yippee, in case you didn't know. And so, um, yeah, so they've said they've ordered me a replacement, which should have arrived last Tuesday. It didn't. And so the latest they said it would arrive would be Wednesday. It didn't. I went away on Wednesday. It definitely didn't come because my husband was here. It didn't come Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday or yesterday. It still hasn't come. I did contact UPS to find out where it is and they do not know. <laughs> they don't know where it is <laughs> and they were very unhelpful. So I contacted HP yesterday. So HP is going to try and hopefully sort it out. But in the, in the meantime, I have no printer. So I have a pack, another Christmas pack which I probably wasn't going to put out next week, but I was thinking maybe the week after. Um, I'm going to do one every other week or I don't know, I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, I had to change the colour on it because I had to go to a print shop to get it printed off. Um, and I wasn't happy with some of the colours, so it's a bit too, too dark. So I've changed them. But now I have got to go back to the print shop again to get it printed off again. Woohoo! So and the UPS guy came this morning to pick up the the other print the printer that's you know not that's faulty. And normally they drop the new one off first. I then reuse the box to put the old printer in the dodgy printer, and, they t and then they come a bit later on to put the, that up. But I said to him, I haven't had the new printer yet. I do have a box from the original printer which I can use, but I haven't got all the packaging on the inside. So I just have to kind of bubble wrap it and stick it in. But I'd rather him take it than me drop it off round the corner to the news agents because it's just more official when the UPS guy's done it and he's given me paperwork and everything. So, yes, the joys, the joys. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit, yeah, I'm struggling. 
I am struggling a bit with the whole digital paper pack thing at the moment. So I've literally only got one more pack that is ready, well, is relatively ready to go. I wanted to print it off, uh, you know, the, with the revised colours just to double check I'm happy with everything. But I might have to just do it and hope for the best. The only problem is I do need to print it because I need to be able to craft with it. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm really not sure what I'm doing to be fair. On and then having time to think up new kits as well. I'm kind of struggling a bit with that. So I need some more ideas. So in a bit, I'm going to ask you for some more ideas for paper kits. If you're watching this live stream back, so i.e. you're not on now, you're watching this in the future, this is a live stream. We do chat a lot. The card that I'm doing today, I have done before as a video, as a tutorial, but I did it a different way round. So the quantities just changed. And I did mention in the tutorial that you just need whatever, you know, different quantities. But I had a comment saying, please, can you do this? Um, you know, please can you do it the other way around. So I thought I'm going to do it in the live stream the other way around. I might not do, to do a tutorial for it because it's literally pretty much the same. So, yeah. Right. Who's joined us since when I've been going on? Um, so, Nola, it's cold for you. Yeah, it's cold here as well, to be fair. Oh, Vicky, beautiful woman, Sunny. Oh, lucky you. We haven't got warm and sunny here. We've got, but yes, Sunny Joe, exactly. I know. I just think because last year we had that nice um, heat wave, didn't we? So I was hoping for maybe some nice weather this time, but no. Nope. Um, hi, Marianne. Um, hi, Karen from Arkansas. Good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, hi, Tracy. Right, we've got quite a few of us. So I'm going to quickly show you through. Some of you will have seen it already on the YouTube Shorts and Instagram, but I'm going to show you quickly through anyway. Obviously, this has been cut up, so you have to bear with. It's not all. But I'm using this paper today. I love this one with the berries. Um, and some of these as well are pictures I took when I was on a holiday in Devon. And I will show you which ones they are. So there you go. So, um, yes, there's the berries. They've got We've got green baubles. We've got kind of very rich coloured um ornate balls we've got like an ornate gold red golden green pattern some gold like satin fabric um another i really like this one i really want to use this i love the depth on that um, red golden green again kind of pattern this is more like a green satin kind of color um red velvet then we've got holly this is this was a picture i took when i was on holiday of some holly in a garden in ilfacombe so they've got like um uh, some really nice gardens by the theatre, the Landmark Theatre. So this was in their garden. And so, so was this. And I really like the little white flowers with the green foliage. So I took that picture. So that's that. Then we've got some um, red and white poncettia. And then we have, she says, colouring up what's coming. Some red knitted fabric as well. <laughs> Quickly turn the page. <laughs> that's the other pack <laughs> right there. Um, so, yeah. So that is the pack that has just dropped. It's available on Etsy. Go over and get it. Yep, before it, whatever. I mean, it's not good. I, I, it'd be nice if it sold out, but there are a hundred of them on there. So, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice if it did if it did sell out. Um, hi, Gina. Humidity dropped here, so a nice summer day. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having a nice summer day. It's just grey here. It's not raining, so that's something, I suppose, isn't it? But it's just a bit meh. So, yeah. So that is... Those are the papers. So... I also have to show you as well. Thank you, Gina. I was really impressed with this pack, actually. I'm quite pleased with it, the way it turned out. Um, I also want to show you some dyes that I got. So just before I went away, literally on the day... No, is it the day I left? It was either the day I left. No, it was the day I left. It was Wednesday last week. Um, I had a parcel arrive, and I was like, I know exactly what that is, and it really doesn't need to come today because I wasn't expecting it this early. So I did another order with In Love Art Shop. And so, as you all know, they're part of Coca Rosa. So all the packaging says Coca Rosa on it, even though it is from In Love Art Shop, because they're basically the same people. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using this dye today. I really like it. And actually, as you can probably see from my little pack here, it cuts out really well, really like this. So I'm going to be using this dye. And then I've also got, I haven't used any of these yet. So this bubble one, I haven't used this yet, but I really like the look of this. I can see lots of different ideas with this and also the circle. So what it actually cuts out, I feel like that's going to be quite useful for, you know, embellishments and stuff. So if you, if you want to use like gems, but you don't want the bulk, then some of these circles could be quite useful if you use fancy papers. Sorry, I'm just swinging in the wind here because I'm just uh, readjusting my camera. 
Then we've got this one with little stars, like a little puff of stars, and it cuts the little stars out of your card. Haven't used it yet, but it looks cool. Um, this one with, it's actually that way up, um, Christmas in the middle, and it's two snowflakes either side. So I'm interested to see how that cuts. I think it literally cuts, like it cuts a snowflake and cuts a snowflake. But if you've got a whole piece of card, then you can kind of have it cut out of your card. So I'm going to have a play with that anyway. It looks cool. Um, then we've got this one, which cuts butterflies out of your card. So it's not actually a wreath, but it cuts. If you've got a panel of card, you would cut all these butterflies out. But again, you've then got a whole stash of butterflies that you can use however you want to use them. So I'm excited for that one. This one I thought just looked really sweet. So it's about six inches wide. Little trees, flowers and whatever. And then the butterflies and the dragonfly, they come up. They actually, you know, you can detach those and just put them wherever you want or not have them at all. But I'm thinking like an inked sunset background with maybe a dark card over the top. That would be cool. So I'm excited to use that. And then these numbers are fabulous. So they come with, uh, I've actually used these. I've cut out a number 50, which I will show you my zero. So there's my zero. I used that glitter card from um, uh, Dovecraft, uh, first edition. And then I've just cut the zero, the front bit, and laid it on the top. So um, yeah, really like that. Um, yeah, Tracy, it's literally Coca Rosa. So go for it. If you use my code as well, which is Iced Images, you'll get 20% off. So it's probably a good job that you didn't order it yet, Tracy, because if you use my code, you'll get 20% off. If anybody has any problems using my code for any reason, let me know, please, because that's the understanding that I've got. Use the code and you get 20% off. If you have any problems, let me know and then I can email them and get onto it. Because um, before with, I think it was Coca Rosa, somebody had an issue that said you had to spend a certain amount, but that wasn't the agreement I had. So I just emailed them, they've changed it. So now it's, you know, you just get 20% off. So let me know if you have any problems. Um, so yeah, so you just get, so that's the shadow of it. And then you've got the bit on the top. So you cut, you know, one out and then the other. So I like the fact it's got a shadow. That's very helpful. And they're such a good size, the really decent size. So I've done a craft haul video for that. I just need to finish it off, um, but that will be coming soon. So I've got all those to work through as well. <laughs> I've got a lot of work going on at the moment, which is good. We like work because work is good, but um, it's just a bit mad with having summer holidays, school holidays at the same time. So yeah. Right, let us crack on. Enough waffle, let's crack on. So, um, Nola, you've ordered the big best wishes. Ah, oh, have you? Cool. It's very good. It's very, very good. Yeah, you've known Coco Road for ages. Yeah, that's right. Don't worry, Zanya, if you're a bit late. We're literally only just starting off now, so don't worry. Um, right, let me just move this out of the way. Otherwise, you can see me. I don't want you to be able to see me. But look how nicely that star dies cut out. I have to say, um, Tracy, I've been really impressed with the way they cut out. Because when I first you know, started working with them, I wasn't sure, you know, especially some of these really intricate dies, I wasn't sure how they were going to cut out. So I've cut this out using my, my A5 um, Big Shot, you know, the old one. The Big Shot? Yeah, the Big Shot. It's a really old Big Shot machine. The plates are a bit worn, etc. But went in cut it and took it out again, and it's cut fine. That's just out of, like, Miri, Miri card. So, um, yeah, I have been impressed. Some of the really ornate ones, sometimes you have to put them through a couple of times, but you do with most ornate dyes. So, yeah, I've not had any problems, I have to say. So, yeah. And if you do have any problems, let me know and I can email them. Um, it might be that you try and email them, don't get a reply, but they always reply back to me because obviously I'm working, you know, commission with them. So um, they're very good. They, they do get back quite quickly, usually, unless it's like a holiday. Sometimes they have like um, holidays over there in China. So, yeah, let me know. Right, we will aim to sort it out. Okay, so we are going to do a version of a card we've already done, um, but we're doing it the other way around. I was toying with the idea of not doing the triple strips um, on it, because that's what I did for the original, for the stepper. So I did the six by six triple strip stepper card, um, and this time I'm going to do it so it's on its side. So I am going to use the triple strips, however... Um, we might, if we have time, because this isn't that difficult to do, so if I haven't got it cut out, we might have a bit of a play maybe, or I can, you know, we can have a bit of a bandy with ideas of different ways you can do it. You don't necessarily need to do those triple strips. So the way I'm going to do it this time around, I think um, mixed up, Sam from Mixed Up Crafts 
she did it as a i think she called it a double d fun fold card i think that's what she did and i think it was a five by seven that she did yeah it was a five by seven um so it's basically that but i'm using triple strips and i'm doing a six by six so i've changed it slightly so that's all um right yeah you love the stars nola me too it is pretty isn't it tracy hi Jeanette. yes thank you i am well um karen yeah exactly so that's why i try and um whenever i do the craft haul video i always try and make cards one for each die at least one for each die and then show you in the video because i'm the same i want to see how it cuts out and i also want ideas as to how to use it so yeah um hi cindy right so don't worry you just woke up we are making today um we're making a version of sam from mixed up crafts of her she made a five by seven double d fun fold card um i turned it round did it as a six by six and called it a six by six triple strip stepper card so today we're going to do it the way she did it but as a six by six basically the triple strip step stepper card but turned round so i've decided to call it a six by six triple strip fun fold card so i've mixed up my what i originally called it and what she originally called it <sighs> yeah you have to bear with me my brain's a bit a bit frazzled so yeah i haven't got one to hand um the one that i did for the stepper card is somewhere but i can't remember where it is i might have even given it to somebody oh actually no it might be here let me just have a quick look it might be on my desk bear with let me see if i can find my triple strip stepper card and then if it's here i can show you what the no it's not here i can show you what it originally looked like but no it's not on my desk um yeah i don't know where it is um i remember i used antonio makes his papers on it i know that much and it went up recently but yeah anyway right so you are going to need for this card um, and also cindy and anybody else who's just joined i was just showing you my new papers so there is a video uh, a shorts video that's now live on my channel and on instagram as well i've got my little youtube not youtube insta shorts whatever real whatever they're called is up there as well so you can have a look through the papers on there and if you go on etsy it'll be on there. there's a little video that flips through them right so you need a base card that's six by twelve or you could use a six by six card blank if you've got one and you're going to score it halfway at six inches obviously if it's already a card blank you don't need to score it halfway it'll already be sco scored halfway so it just makes a, a six by six card blank so that's that so we can put that to one side then we need a piece that is six inches by eight and a quarter and this one is going to be scored at every two inches along the long edge so at two inches at four inches at six inches and at eight inches now if you've got um a longer piece that's maybe eight and a half i would use that so i've only got a quarter of an inch tab here which i'd prefer to use a bit more so if you've got a you know if you've got a longer size card then do that but if you're working with a4 just go with the width of your a4 uh, and stick with eight and a quarter because it just means you you know you're not using up as much ca um, card so that's that one and then you also need three strips and again this is the bit you can change so if you want to change it and just have two if you want to change up the sizes you can if you want to change up the shapes you can there's all sorts of things you can do I'm sticking with my three strips for now and then um, we'll have a chat about what else you could do with it. So these are one and a half by um, eight and you're going to score halfway at four inches on all three pieces. If you want to cut this out as one big piece and just, you know, score at four and then cut it into your one and a half inch strips, you can. That's another way of doing it. So that is that. So what we're going to do with these, these are all just going to be mountain folds. So I'm just going to mountain fold all of these. Mountain fold, mountain fold. And there we go. And mountain fold here. There we go. So you've got three mountain folded oops, strips. One. Two, three. 
Okay, so if you bring in your um, your piece that was six by eight and a quarter, and what you're going to do is you're going to go from obviously the first one, the two inch score line, you're going to go mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So that little tab's going to be a valley. Um, obviously, if it's a quarter inch, you just need to be a bit careful when you're um, folding it because it's probably not going to want to fold very well. So just show it who's boss. And the other thing you need to make sure is you don't, oh, card's falling off. You need to make sure as well you, you're, you're folding properly. So mine's a bit squiffy, so I'm just showing it what to do. Who's boss? Okay, that's that one there. So a little tip, if you've got a narrow bit like that, I tend to get the narrow bit and just press down and fold it against the table. And that tends to help. Is it going, you know, not, you're not wobbly. If you try and bend it over, it can be a bit wobbly. But if you kind of do that to fold it, it kind of helps it. Okay, so that is our piece done. So that's what it looks like. So that's that one. And then if we bring back the uh, six by six card blank, I just need to get some red tape out. Or some red tape. I've got my real narrow stuff and a pair of scissors. So what we're going to do is... Um, it's going to be this way round. Right, let me think about this. Uh, let me think about this. That's that way. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So when you do... Right, so with this, you actually need a 6x6, six six, not a 6x12. I'm going to stick with my 6x6 six six just because I've done it now. My 6x12, six just because I've done it now. But you actually only need a 6x6 six six for this bit. Um, in fact, I think she used a, let me just think about this. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So scrap what I've just said about this one. You don't need this card. Okay. You don't need this card. So you just need a, do you, do you need this card? Hang on a second. Let me just, no, yeah, you do need this card. You do need this card. Oh, my brain, my brain. I remember it being different. Yeah, no, you do need this card. But instead of a six by six card blank, you just need a six by six piece. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the way uh, I'm thinking of doing it anyway. And we'll just do it. It'll end up slightly different. That's all. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It'll work. Right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to put this um, tab. You can either fix it on the back. So this is my folded bit. You can either fix it on the back of the card there or you can fix it on the front and then cover it over. I think I'm going to put mine on the... I think probably on the, mm, I'd like to do it on the back, but I feel like there's too much, it's going to be too much work. So I'm going to put mine on the front. So that means I need to put um, tape on this edge here. So bear with, because I haven't actually made this card. I haven't actually made a sample of this card um, with it being this way round. And so I forgot the fact that you don't need a 6x6 six six card blank. You just need a six by six piece of card, but it's fine because we're going to do it different. We're going to we're going to go off piste. We always go off piste. Hey, why not? So now we're going to go ahead and take this and ooh, pull up the backing. Come on, Mister Backing. Don't play games with me. Right there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that folded edge up with the folded edge of the card, making sure your card opens out normally. I'm just going to line that up and we're going to stick that down. And so if you want to, you can open your card out, which means then you know that you're getting it nice and level. I probably should have flipped this line of the other side. There we go. And then we can get it level like that. So I'm going to take this liner out. There we go, like that. And then that gives you, you've got a card blank and then you've got this concertina bit stuck on the front there like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I need to put in a piece here and this will cover up this tab. So you need a piece of matte card that is five and three quarter by five and three quarter and a piece of pattern that is five and a half by five and a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this um, mat, this pattern piece onto this mat piece. 
Let's take all this off. Um, oh. Let's go ahead and stick this down. So I have actually changed it from Sam's design already. Unintentionally. Right, which way up do you want it? Like that? Like that? I think like that, maybe. No, like upwards. I think I need them going upwards. Like that, I think. Okay, let's stick this down. There we go. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and stick that on the front there. And actually, you don't really notice that tab. You can see it, but because it's right in the corner, it's not really obvious. So that is good. So let's go and stick that down. I need some ideas for what kind of things you want for the next paper pack digital paper pack so give me some ideas of what you'd like to see for the next one probably going to do a non-christmas for next week um haven't designed anything yet i've got a few like images ready to go um to be used in packs i've got lots of like textures and stuff but i have the photos i took when i was on holiday so it just depends on what you want to do because obviously i'm a bit my brain's a bit frazzled because it's thinking well we're actually in summer it doesn't feel like summer and I'm making Christmas, so <laughs> it's a bit confusing. So yeah, let me know what you want to do for, you know, what you'd like to see in the next digital pack. Any ideas are welcome. I have still got the list from before, but um, again, I wasn't sure with everyone doing Christmas at the moment. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are doing Christmas at the moment. What else you would like to do? Because I'm still thinking summer holidays, but obviously it's not summer for everybody, is it? So let me know what other designs you would like to see. Right, let's stick that there like that. Spot strikes gingham and checks. Mm, okay, cool. That's a nice easy one. Thank you, Vicky, for that. I yes, could definitely work on that. That would be a nice easy one to do. That would be a nice easy one to do. Okay, the pack with just spot stripes, ginghams and checks in. That could be good. Design for men that's not sport orientated. Okay, cool. Um, let me write these down. Let me write these down. Let me get my little pad and write these down. So we've got spots, gingham stripes spot stripes gingham and checks and then um, men not sport what kinds of men not sport because i struggle with this because obviously not everyone drinks most of the men that i know don't drink so then that kind of rules that out uh, music i tend to go down the road of um yeah, it's a bit of a difficult one because the other option you think of is like old men. You don't really want to go down that road. Uh, pretty paper. Do you mean pretty as in like florals, butterflies, that kind of thing? Let me know. Or more kind of like girly, like, I don't know, shoes and bags and whatever. Let me know, Patricia, what kind of um, pretty paper. Right, so now you need four. So previously when I did this this way round... We needed two, but for this one, you're going to need four. So you need four pieces of mat card that are one and three quarter by five and three quarter, and four pieces of pattern that are one and a half by five and a half. And these are going to go on here. So this is the um, this is one of the little jumper knitted texture. I really quite like this. It's quite a nice, quite a nice um, textured, you know, print. I suppose you call it. It's not an actual texture. Right, let me stick this these pieces down. If you didn't want to do four pieces, you don't have to, but I felt like all four of those needed to have something in them. The other thing as well to bear in mind, which I didn't, um, is you need to make sure with your thicknesses they're not too thick because you're putting a lot of card on these um, these pieces and you're going to end up with a lot of wadge. So my card is going to be quite wadgy. 
Um, Vicky, men like to read, collect things, workshops and cars. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, sorry, Patricia, the question was um, uh, about papers, what kind of papers you'd like to see, digital, you know, digital papers uh, for next week. That was the question. So what kind of pretty paper, when you say pretty papers, do you mean like florals or butterflies or um, girly things or what kind of, what kind of pretty would you like to see? That was the question. I can do florals till the cows come home. I'm quite happy doing florals. <laughs> I've got loads of florals waiting. Loads of florals waiting to, like, pictures, you know, they're waiting to be made into packs. So florals is not too bad. Uh, workshops, airplanes, blues, greys, torps. Okay, cool. Okay, that's cool. I can do that. I can do that. That sounds cool. So transport. Kind of basic transport, workshops, things like nuts and bolts, spanners, stuff like that, mechanical things, a bit steampunky maybe. Yeah, okie dokie. Shall we write that down? I shall definitely write that down. I could definitely do that. Um, that one's a bit wonky. I've stuck that a bit wonky. Never mind. Which one on the back? Um, blues, greys, and torps. Yeah. So I'm going to have to until my printer comes. I don't know when my printer's going to come. So I'm going to have to design stuff and then go and get them printed out of the shop, which is a bit of a pain. But that's all I'm going to have to do because I can't really. I don't want to put something out that I haven't first printed off and checked to make sure it's all alright. Uh, country trees and animals. Okay. Cool. Um, what else have we got? It would be nice to see a Christmas paper done in a summer range. Oh, yes, of course, yes. That is coming. That was on my list. Um, we're at summer, it's Christmas. Yeah, by the beach of the pool. Yes, I need to, um, <laughs> I need to do, uh, that is actually on my list to do for the you Aussie lot. Um, and actually my brain needs to kind of get itself around that because it doesn't make sense to me. Because obviously, you know, we haven't, <laughs> it's not nice here. <laughs> it's never never sunny it's not swimming pools so yeah i need to i'll have a look i definitely will have a look at that um that'll be probably another one later on in in the month i've got a um i've got a uh what's the word i have got a pack ready to go christmas pack which is more like your traditional christmas but not in traditional colors so that's coming up week after next probably as long as i can get it you know finalized and sorted um so next week i think i'll either do i'll probably do a men's next week i'll probably either do the spots you know spots stripes gingham check whatever or i'll do a man's one next week and then the week after that i might well do the christmas traditional christmas um and then the week after that i'll probably do whatever i didn't do out of the men's and the gingham and then I think then I'll aim to do the Aussie Christmas um, after that at some point. Okay, so that's all of those pieces. As you can see, it's quite chunky now. It's getting quite chunky. So let me quickly write these ideas down. Otherwise, I won't remember. So um, tools, cars transport and then we've got Aussie Christmas okay cool makeup and jewelry and clothes okay um ladies pretty makeup I'm just writing these down jewelry Clothes, okie doke. A lot of friends travelling, images of touristy destinations. Okay, so like a travel. Um, world in destinations. I can't talk and write at the same time. Okie doke. Oh, then country as well. Country, trees. Animals. Okay, cool. 
Right, have I missed anything? Don't think so. Cool. Okay, right, that's on my list. I have got another list, you know, but I haven't <laughs> got that far. Right, back to the thing. So then with these here, um, I think I might stick them down first. No, let's decorate first, then stick. So we've got, so for these, you need six in total, six matte pieces that are one and a quarter by three and three quarter, and six pattern pieces that are one by three and a half. And these are going to go on here like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. Uh, mountain scenes. Mm. Yes. That could be good. There's lots of different mountains you could do as well. I would love book themed papers. There's so many book clubs on the round. Mm. Okay, that's an interesting one. Mm. Yeah, I could do something like that. Book themed. You could almost tie that in with men's papers as well. You could do like a book, a male coloured book. Because then it could be for, book, like you say, book clubs, but it could also be for mail cards as well. Um, so that might be a, a possibility to team the two up together. Mountain scenes and book themed. Okay, I'll write those down in a moment as well. Lots of ideas. This is why I like asking you guys, because I, <laughs> I get lots of ideas. So, you know. I get a bit stuck. I actually took my uh, laptop on holiday with me, hoping to make some papers while I was away, but I just didn't get time. Um, and I, one of the days I sat down to try and think of something, and I just couldn't think. I mean, I was tired anyway, but I just couldn't think. I just hit a brick wall. I was like, I don't know. Um, yeah, light, bright, and different colours. So, Maureen, did you see my Merry and Bright pack that I bought out, uh, not last week, the week before? So, I deliberately did that because it was all bright colours. Um, it did have snow in it. It did have well, snowflakes in it, but it also had baubles and it was all bright. So it was all like pinks and rainbow colours, blues, uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but um, hopefully that kind of fitted what you're thinking of um you didn't yeah have a look at that have a look back on my if you look back on the channel on the shorts videos um there is i do a short for every single um pack that i put out <clears throat> so have a look on there and see if that fits your uh fits the bill because i deliberately did one like that so that then anybody didn't want like a non-traditional um cats dogs birds yes i was wondering about a pet kind of a pet orientated pack um that might be a possible that could definitely be a possible um might need to write these down otherwise i'm gonna forget them i'm gonna forget them right let's just stick this one down and then let me write these other ideas down so we've got um book themed we've got mountain scene we've got pets cat dog bird we've got what else do we have we had yeah bright but you've already i've covered that in all the years you've lived in you've never had a white christmas see now <laughs> when i was living in cambridgeshire i have to say we didn't really get white christmases but i remember one time in the winter we had loads of snow but it was rare very rare and then when i went to uni in leeds suddenly there was a whole heap of snow <laughs> which i liked i was glad because i like snow and then since i've been living in the midlands west midlands we have had snow Pretty much, I would say every year we've had snow at some point. Um, but yeah, I remember growing up, we didn't have snow. Because you live in Kent, that's why. Beautiful part of the world. So you miss quite a lot of the weather. Mind you, you probably do get snow, just not at Christmas. I'm trying to think if, we've actually, if I've actually ever seen a white Christmas. I think I have. I think technically it was. I think we had snowflakes on Christmas, which for me made it, you know, count. Uh, it's a throwback to Dickens novels. 
what the bird that not the bird the um the book thing oh all the white christmas maybe Right, let's just stick these last two down. This is going to be a very chunky card by the time I've finished because I'm using silver mirror card, which is quite thick, it has to be said. But I haven't really got any thin silver mirror, and I did want to put some silver on it. A white Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yes, indeedy. I think up north they probably have white Christmases, maybe. Scotland, maybe. It does vary from the year. Usually Christmases are kind of a bit mild, a bit wet. <laughs> That's tend to be what. Oh, Victorian days, did they? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't actually surprise me because I have to say the weather cycles do seem to go round and round. So like they had very, very, I remember when, well, I remember being told, obviously I don't remember myself, but I think it was 1976, the summer of. Uh, it was 1976 or 75, I can't remember. They had a massive heat wave, there was drought and whatever. And I remember in April, again, probably in the early 80s, um, them having snow. So, um, yeah. Uh, you know, so weather systems go round and about, really. And I've noticed that we seem to have one very hot summer and then... Or we have like a very, very cold winter with snow and it's all very cold and very horrible. Well, not horrible, but, you know, very cold and snowy. And then uh, and then we have one hot summer, the next, the following summer. And then the following winter after that hot summer tends to be a bit meh, a bit nothing, a bit, a bit just wet and meh. And then the following summer tends to be a bit wet and meh and warm, um, but not hot. So I've noticed that's how it, it seems to be an extreme of winter and summer. And then a nothingy winter and summer. Then the following year is an extreme, following year is a nothingy. And that seems to be how it goes. Right. Shoes and handbags. Yes. So I'm going to I'll tag that into the one um, that uh, somebody else mentioned, Diane mentioned, about makeup, jewellery and clothes. You could put shoes and handbags in with that one. Right. Now, to stick these strips down, I reckon the best way to do this is to bring your scoreboard in. And we're going to do, I'm going to do it upside down just so I can bounce that up against there like that. Um, and then I can just see where my three inches, so my three inches is there. And I want this to be kind of like that. And it also means I can kind of, kind of make sure it's, you know, it's straight. I can use these grooves to make sure it's straight. So I'm going to stick that about there. Now, unfortunately, because I'm using the red card base card and it's going against the red paper you can't really see it which is a bit of a shame but anyway whatever let's just flip this over a second and what i'm going to do is i'm going to nudge that up make sure this is even stevens like that and then i'm just going to make a little mark on here so i know where to put my glue or tape and i think i'm going to go with tape this time i think i used wet glue on the last one but I think I'm going to go with um I'm going to go with red tape you've got less time you've got you obviously got to stick it down first time right first time but I just think it's going to stick straight away I'm going to wait for it to stick and then risk it moving so I'm going to put some tape on the back here and I said I've made a little mark so I know I'm not going to be taping stuff I don't want to be taping so that is like that and then we're going to peel off the backing and I'm going for the whole thing I'm being a bit dangerous here but we are going for the whole thing come on I don't know about anybody else but I really battle with this red tape liner getting it off right so that's going there like that this is going on here I'm going to make sure I've got measured you know it's, it's halfway I'm going to make sure I've got a kind of a border there. I'm just going to put half of it down and then just put this down and make sure that it's kind of straight. That's kind of straight there. Yep. And then we're going to stick. Right. So that's the first one in like that. And then this will stick behind in a minute, but we're going to do all the front ones first. 
So next we want to take another one. Let's use this one. Do at the top, I think. So that's going to go at the top, and we just need to make sure that it's even border, top and bottom, and this border here is the same as that border there. So I'm just going to flip this round again. And I'm going to turn this round. I'm going to make sure it's pretty much where it needs to be. And then again, I'm going to make a little mark on the back. And I'm going to add some tape. And we're going to stick that down. So this is the bit you could change up if you want to. So if you wanted to not do the three strips, you could do two um, like taller sections. Um, like, like Sam did on her double D fanfold card. Or if you wanted to, I was thinking you could do like a, you know how you, when you make um, a circular shaped card, you know, and it kind of folds, you can maybe do something like that. Um, yeah, there's lots of different ideas really. So let's get this in. So it's going to be about there. I'm hoping my head's not in the way. And then I'm just going to lay this down and make sure it's even. Yep. It's a little bit further back. That's not quite the same place, but it's, it's close enough. It's close enough. And then we want this one. So I'm just going to turn this over. Some of you will be recognising this card from when we did it as a triple stepper. So this is just showing a different way of doing it. Different way around. Right. So let us stick this one on. I'm going to stick that onto there like that. And then another piece here. There we go. Ooh. Right. And then let's stick this down. Oh, I do struggle with this tape liner. Come on, behave yourself, Mr. Tape Liner. There we go. Right, so let's get this in about there, I reckon. Just gently hold the corner and then move this over so it is straight. Yeah, about there. Okay, so now a little tip trick for working out where to put the tape on the other bit. If you flip this back on itself and just make a little mark do that on all three pieces then you're going to know and I've just brought it in slightly I haven't gone right to the edge I'm literally making my mark where the edge of the mat is so like that and then we can go ahead don't need this anymore so we'll put this away we can go ahead and add tape or I can add glue mm, I'll go glue I'll go tape I'll go tape because I've got um because I have got printed papers I don't want to risk it you know, eking out and end up taking the print off my paper. So there we go. Let's go all the way down with this. Like that. And the same on this bit here. So there's lots of different things as I said you could use for these strips. You really could go to town with them. I was wondering about whether I could use that star die, put a circle behind it and then use that like that and do it as a as a kind of a you know card blanky type thing. Um but because someone had asked to me to do this specific one with strips, that's why I've kept the strips again, the three, the triple strip. Right, so then we just need to take off the backing. I'm gonna do it one by one. Take off the backing and then we're going to flip this over like that and you want to keep your concertina all shut and you're just going to stick that on the back like that okay so then when it stands up you've got that there so you can see that there okay so we're going to do the same with the others uh, as i said mine is quite chunky because we've got a lot of layers going on here so just bear that in mind when you're choosing so again if we just Take that one out, open this up, making sure that this concertina stays shut. And then we're just going to bring that over and stick that down. And then the same with this one. So let's 
So this comes over. And we're going to shut that down like that. So then you've got that's your card. So that's the basic of your card. So you've got your three strips. I quite like the three strips actually. And obviously from the top you've got that. So you've got space to write in here. Now because I'm using a red card, I will go ahead and put a white piece on the inside. If you want to, you can put a matte and then a white. But I'm probably just going to put a white because I don't really want to make too much more bulk. So my white piece will be five and three quarter by five and three quarter. If you can do a matte, do your matte five and three quarter by five and three quarter and do your white piece as five and a half by five and a half. So that is that. And then on the front here, I wanted to add my stars. Um, and then I've got a piece on earth as well. So I'm actually gonna do my piece on earth on the stars. It means I do cover up part of my strip if I do that. I don't mind that actually. I wasn't sure if that was a bit too much, but no, I don't mind that. So I think, yeah, I could do that there, or I could do it here. No, I think I'm going to do it here. Yeah, I'm going to do that on the front. So I'm just going to go ahead now and add some glue onto the back of here. Now, obviously, I need to make sure with this that I don't put glue in the wrong places. Uh, I'm going to use tacky glue, but it does mean I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to hold it down while it dries. So let me just unblock my little nozzle thing there and then I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. Now because I've turned it over I can see where it's going to stick to card and where it's going to be in mid-air. So I'm also not going to add glue where the gap is or near the gap just in case I turn it over and get it in the wrong place. Oh, almost. I'm just going to dob some glue on the back. The other thing as well with using this tacky glue is it's fine for mirrors. Oh, almost. Oh, I've got a little bit there. The other thing as well, if you do get it in the wrong place, like I just have, you can wipe it off quite easily. So my nozzle's got blocked again. Just give it a quick clear out. Right, off we go again. I need to, I need to refill this tube. Oh, that was too much. Oh, dear. That was way too much. Clear some of that off. Right, there we go, we've gone all the way around. We have gone full circle. Let me clear some of that. Oh, don't slide. <laughs> don't slide. Let me clear some of this one off because there's a lot on there. Okay. Right, I need to do a quick flip over, making sure I keep it more or less the way it was. And stick this down. There we go. And I think I'm going to use that piece on earth and put it um, on pads. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So I just need this to stick. Um, if I'm using wet glue, it doesn't always stick straight away. That's okay, that's, that's not too bad. And then my piece on earth is going to go on the front. I am going to use pads, but um, it does mean it's going to make it a little bit too wodgy. But I've got a little array of different pads here, so I think I'll probably use some of the mm, slightly thinner ones, maybe. I've got some really thin ones, but I, I want it to look like it's popped out. And I also need to work out again where my gaps are. So that's going to go like that. So therefore, I need to put pads. Oh, just move my stars again. Come on, stars, sit down. I just need it on the body of the piece on Earth, I think. Never mind the top of the P. Thank you, Karen. Turned out a lot better than... Well, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out because I've never made it this way around before. Um, but yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Right, there we go. Okay all off yeah so let's stick this down oh actually i can put one on the top of the p because it's actually on this edge so that's fine right so that's going to go on there so i'm covering up that middle panel quite a lot but you know it's fine so there we go i'm not going to put anything on the inside on this bit here because i don't think it needs it so yeah oh let's clear all my bits of tape backing off the way out the way 
Nobody wants to see my tape back in. So there you have it. So there's your finished your finished card. Obviously you can add extra embellishments if you want to or whatever you want to do. But I quite like it. So, you know, that's why I've decorated all the panels. Because obviously you kind of see it when it's sat on the desk. You know, if you open it out quite a lot, you're going to see it. And then I just need to put a, a white piece in there. I have actually cut out a, a piece of matte ready. I just need to cut out a piece of white and stick that in. But yeah, so there's your card. So yeah, it's quite, as I say, it's quite cool. But you can do different things on here. Um, I was thinking with this bit here, um, let me just grab a, let me just grab a card base. Uh and see if I can just quickly show you what I mean. So, the other thing as well is if you haven't got 12 by 12 paper, thank you everybody. Um, if you haven't got 12 by 12 paper, then you can use some card blanks come and they're five and three quarter by five and three quarter. So you could use something like that. And then that would mean that your strip wouldn't have to be quite so long. The only thing is and you just got to well no yeah yeah you could yeah, you could do this at the same on them but just make it not as um yeah so i quite like the um i quite like the the, the card at the back i think it's quite nice because I, I i always have a bit of a problem with it you writing on the back of a card so if you've got the card on the back of it then it just makes it a bit more you know it's just an extra thing in it <laughs> it's like an extra like an extra fold and it's actually just given me another idea as well for a different a slightly different version hmm so that might be coming soon um but yeah it's quite cool so i'm just going to leave it up like that for a second so um yeah what we're saying was here instead of these three strips if you had a, uh, I'm trying to think if I've got one, a shaped card. Well, I've got a hexagonal one. Let me just grab my hexagonal one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, I've got these octagonal card blanks. So, obviously, you can cut yourself out an octagonal or a hexagonal card blank. It was given to me these were i don't even know where they're from um so this is a, a what's it card blank but instead of these strips you could have that on the front like that if you wanted to and have that as your strip and you could even cut an aperture and have like you know some in the like a little scene on the back here that you can see through the aperture obviously you can make it a bit smaller if you wanted to but again like that would work on the front um so and you, you know, if you want to do a circular one, you could do a circular one or, you know, there's loads. There's literally loads. Whatever shape you want to do, you could do a star on the front. As long as you make it into like a card blank. I <laughs> know, <Sid>, Nola. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> um, as long as you make whatever you've got on the front as a card blank, you can put what you want in the front. So there you go. You could even make a... Um, a sentiment into like a card blank if you had like a shaped uh you know you know when you make a, a rock card or like a circular card and the one behind is not quite circular because of where the crease is but then you've got another panel on the top which is circular which makes it you know you could do something like that as well if you wanted to because it's you know the way it opens up so yeah there you go lots of ideas so there we are i think i will disappear off because my son is going to be like, what are you doing? Can we do something now, please, mummy? I'm bored. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, there you go. So, that's the card for today. Go and check out um, In Love Art Shop and use my code Iced Images, which will get you 20% off. If you have any problems using the code, let me know. Um, and I can sort that out or try and sort it out for you. Um, go and check out my Etsy store as well um, and have a look. And I will go and crack on, in fact I might have to do it today, uh, and crack on with trying to sort out a kit for next week, a digital kit for next week. Um, yeah. And then um, I need to go and get that printed off because I have no printer. Happy days. So yeah, no problem people. So have, I hope, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, or your evening, depending on where you are. 
and I will see you all next week. So next week, I'm going to try and do the same as today. I'm going to try and do it at half 12 because it works better for me. And it works better for quite a lot of you. Um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it works better for me. It doesn't work better for my son, but it works better for me. So <laughs> I'm half awake at least. It's not. And I'm, I don't have to talk really quietly. So that helps as well. Um, yeah. So there we go. Right, I'm going to take you off the ceiling. Let me just unplug you quickly and then take you off the ceiling. So bear with if you start. There we go, and you can have a better look. Look at that die cut. How nice is that die cut? Wow. So that's what it looks like when it's stood up. You have to ignore all the rubbish on my desk behind. But yeah, it's a decent, it's a really nice card. So yeah, so hopefully you'll have a go. Uh, like, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget, to, oh, I've 13 of you have already. Thank you so much for that. It really helps me. Um, subscribe. Um, I'm at 14,600 and something subscribers at the moment. I really want to get to 23k by the end of the year. And actually, it's looking like it could be possible. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps me out. Helps me run the channel. Keep going. Um, yeah, and I'll see you all next week. Okie doke. Bye, everyone.